Anesthesia Workstation Fabius Plus Excel Model It combines quality of integration with enhanced flexibility and integration capabilities. It delivers ICU-like performance without no need for driving gas. It acts as highly accurate piston ventilation technique. Welcome to my channel, it's me Jivan VP Anesthesia Tech. Today I am explaining about routine normal calibration checklist for Draeger Anesthesia Workstation Fabius Plus XL model. Please watch this video full without skipping. Thank you, let's do it. First connect pipeline for nitrous oxide, oxygen, air, air socket is don't confuse it's made by 4 bars pressure, also check the standby cylinders oxygen and nitrous oxide are fulfilled, next we can connect all power sources and switch to on. Don't worry about confuse about holes, because we can't connect wrongly, because each hole is specified for each gas. First we switch on the main power switch located on back side of workstation. Within seconds we can get a display and see the auto check going on. If we connect it correct and we can check the pressures on the pipeline pressure gauges located in front of workstation. It includes battery backup minimum 2 hours surely ongoing adult ventilation. Because I checked it previously, but be careful about battery charging and discharging. We should collaborate every day before case starting, after circuit changing, after carbon dioxide absorbent changing. Next important thing is always keep Ambu bag with reservoir and emergency oxygen cylinder standby. After switched on we can get this display. We can check when the last calibration done, is it failed or passed, last leak test status. Overall we can know that the workstation ready to use or not ready. First step is run system test click the below option, and see all automatic check going on and display all checklists like system, software, clock, timer, speaker, alarm, date, main power, battery, etc. If anything happens wrong we can see the monitor with indication. Next we are going to collaborate flow sensor. When select the option we can see the mandatory steps close all fresh gas control valves. Second step is remove breathing circuit from expiratory limb. Confirm that all gas control valves like oxygen, nitrous oxide, air should be off. Identify the inspiratory limp and expiratory limp by the breathing system. Inspiratory limp where the gas comes out from workstation to patient. Expiratory limp is expiratory gases return back to workstation, the flow sensor situated mainly in expiratory limb. Remove the expiratory limb. Third step is calibration of flow sensor is done by press the rotatory knob. If any failure of flow sensor we can't get the exhaled tidal volume, that means we can't predict how much amount of tidal volume get to the patient. After pressing the knob we can see the calibration going on, after few seconds we can get confirmation about flow sensor calibration completed. After calibration reconnect the expiratory limb to breathing system. Now complete flow sensor calibration. Next is oxygen sensor calibration. First select the option. Then get the mandatory steps. First remove oxygen sensor from breathing system for 2 minutes. The oxygen sensor situating near inspiratory limb. Second step is press the rotatory knob to do calibration. After some time we can get the result. Sensor calibration passed or failed. After complete calibration reconnect the oxygen sensor to breathing system. In Draeger oxygen sensor calibration failure is most common when using duplicate oxygen sensor. When breathing system contain more water content is the another most common reason for oxygen sensor failure. Use only pure Draeger products. Next step is leak and compliance test. First select the option and we can get a new window about mandatory steps put forward. First step is close all fresh gas control valves. Rotating clockwise close the valves, rotating anti-clockwise open the valves. We should confirm that all gases like oxygen, nitrous oxide, air in off po. The leak test is performed self by workstation. After that proceed second step close the Y piece of the breathing system. In the breathing circuit take the Y piece and close by the closer position or by any closing valves. Third step is remove the humidifiers if connected, if any humidifiers, ETCO2 sample connector it detects some leakage, and some incorrect prediction about compliance. After some time collaboration done. Fourth step is to adjust the APL valve, it means adjust adjustable pressure limiting valve put valve in man mode around pressure 40 to 50. APL valve is situating in breathing system. 
Last step is press the oxygen flush and to create the pressure about 15 to 30. If the pressure below 15 and if pressure above 30, we can not perform the leak test. After fix the mandatory pressure automatically it seems to go on checking. Open another window. We can see all previously leak test status. And going on leak test collaboration also. A little time taken for this step. After this test we know that circuit leak, system leak, compliance of breathing system also. We can see the reservoir bag movements and pistol movements on the breathing system. After collaboration completed we get the results about all leakage about circuit and system leakage. If the leakage is high it indicate that leak test failed not ready for use. After this e complete all collaboration tests. Now our Draga workstation ready for use. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and share it. Thank you.